Off we begin tonight with the latest on busing problems in the Buffalo Public School District. The Board of Education meeting tonight to discuss their plans to alleviate the driver shortage. They've been working late into tonight deciding whether to approve an $856,000 reimbursement pilot program. That program would allow 1500 parents in the district to earn 63 cents for every mile they drive to drop their kids off at school. Our Sydney York has an eye on education and spoke with parents at Tonight's board meeting. Um, mornings are very hectic, but I like to get them out a little earlier before the bus schedule because I know how first student can be. Look, Candace Durham has three children in the Buffalo Public School System, and she says getting the kids to and from school is already stressful on its own, but says when you couple that with a bus driver shortage, she has an even bigger problem. The school called me about two, and they stated. The buses are really behind due to short staff. Are you able to come to pick the kids up? I don't get off of work till 430. Durham says her kids got home over an hour later on Monday and says it's not as simple as just dropping everything to get them when the buses run behind. I never met no job that say, hey, it's OK to be late so you can take your child to school. Durham says the school board needs solutions that are outside of the box. And one approach on the agenda for Wednesday night's board meeting was the Parent Transportation Reimbursement Pilot Program. And this program would pay up to 15,000 parents to drive their children to and from school, but not everyone is on board. Paying the parents right now, I think it's just going to be a mess. Board member Larry Scott says he can't stand behind a solution that will spend nearly $1 million for an unproven solution. Less than 5% of respondents on our transportation survey um, would commit to driving their kids to school. So with those unanswered questions, it, I, I still cannot support it. But board member Sharon Belton Cotman says not trying at all is unacceptable. But not to try something is not in the equation. Not not this time around. And while everyone may not be on the same page for this program, board members and families can all agree on this. We must do better. Now, I was watching this meeting closely tonight, and board members didn't get around to it until after 930, and they debated it into the last hour. Ultimately, they decided to table the discussion for now. In the newsroom, I'm Sydney York, 7 News. Sydney, thank you so much for that coverage.